What's going on guys? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. Now, this is a lawn care YouTube channel, but um, I'll tell you, one of my passions is uh, learning about security technology in general, but uh, I'm obsessed with like security cameras and, and, and security systems and things like that. And I get a lot of questions because I, I uh, you know, you guys might have seen in some of my videos some security cameras or a security system and uh, you guys know I'm I'm huge anti-theft, anti-stealing. Like I want I will spend money to stop, prevent, and protect my my assets, my stuff, the stuff I've worked hard for, and I will pay money to protect that. Um, but what's best? There's a lot of options. We are in 2018. There are a ton of options, dude. Some good, some not so good, um, and some overpriced and some underpriced. So I did I did a lot of research and I've tried to stay up on it. I haven't as much because of the busy season, but uh, when I first purchased this home, I knew that I wanted to get a security system and I knew I didn't want to go the traditional route of ADT, uh, that's the, that's the big guy around here is, was ADT, you know, back in 2000, you know, maybe up to 2010 before really the smart home, the smart home type companies came out, uh, such as like Ring, Nest, um, Simply Safe, and even I, I'm including Vivint in there um, because I, I actually like the Vivint option, so. Let me tell you how ADT does their security system. They have people come to your door. They are a very soliciting type company. Oh, hey, you know, Miss Mary down the street. You know, let's get you set up. Here's a price and they'll shoot you. So here's the good thing about companies like that. They'll shoot you like um, $70 a month. Let's lock you into a three year contract but there's no money down. We're putting thousands of dollars of equipment to secure this home for no money down, 70 bucks a month, but you're locked into a three year whatever contract. Listen, this is business. That might get older people, it, it sounds good. We're putting thousands of dollars of industry leading technology in your home. Yeah, I know, it sounds good, but add up $70 a month for the next three years four years, whatever the contract is, <laughs> then you get nothing in the end. I don't know, man, it, it doesn't sound good. Um, so, I mean, it sounds good, it's not good. Um, I knew I didn't wanna be locked into a contract like that, that just, I don't wanna be another person that, that you know, on a list. I hate that feeling. Um, so Vivint, came came around and I, I probably actually would have went with Vivint um, for my house if I would have you know fell in love with them before I bought this system I think they're they do the same type of thing you don't own the equipment you don't purchase the equipment up front you're locked to a contract but I'm sure it's a, I think it's a little bit cheaper than an ADT and they actually have some pretty good security cameras that they install with it and they actually have a pretty good um, center control unit and uh, I've heard actually really good things about their sales people they're not pushy the thing I the problem I have with ADT is they're very they're pushy salesmen and I am not you you cannot pushy salesmen me I hate that I will not purchase anything that I am forced or feel forced of purchasing um, so I don't like that at all simply safe I found that, I did a little research, their older units looked outdated. They looked like a security system from 1995 to 2000 or something like that. They looked super outdated, and listen, I was born in 96. So if I think that, it probably was like 2005, but still, they looked outdated. They were a fairly new company, and I'm always very weary about new companies. I love entrepreneurship. I love small business. But when it comes to protecting my home, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars of equipment and house and whatever else, microwaves, ovens, computers, whatever it is. You're talking about hundreds of thousands. I, I just, I want to make sure it's, I'm investing in a company that's actually going to call the cops and take care of business if something goes down. So they came out with a second generation, lot sleeker, a lot better specs, longer distance, shorter response times, things like that. And the prices are pretty good. I think we pay um, 20 dollars a month i think it was 24 dollars a month and that's dude that's whatever if it, alarm goes off cops are here taking care of business let's throw them in jail whatever the heck and uh that's it man so i think i i, I think when i purchased this house i chose a couple sensors i I honestly would do only door and window sensors. I would not, I do not like the Simply Safe camera. It came free with it. I did not purchase it because you guys know I have way too many cameras. It's like one of my it's one of my hobbies. Like I love cameras, I love technology, I love all that stuff. But like you can see here, I think I have it. I purchased a couple of these motion sensors. And I think this is my only problem with this company is the motion sensors are useless when you're home. That might be how every other security system is, but I wish there was an option that I could put this in our basement and if it, if it has motion, go off because uh, I don't know, man. I just wish we would. There's a lot of windows, but I would say I would probably, because I think these are like 30 bucks a piece or 40 bucks a piece. So they're kind of pricey and they only work when you're away. Um, my only other grief with it is there's no option to go less than 30 seconds delay when you're away. So let's say I open up a door, it gives you 30 seconds before it calls anyone to turn off the alarm. I don't like that. Um, I, just, I don't know why. I want maybe 10 seconds uh, because things, you guys know this world's fast. People are fast. I could get into a house and take something in 30 seconds and then wait, you know, 10 minutes for the police. I want something immediate. And uh, it kind of stinks that that's not an option. But uh, I would definitely not go with these for, for me because I want protection when I'm here and protection when I'm away. So it's kind of unfortunate that those are, I deem them as pretty useless. But the door sensors are pretty well priced. Um, and the cool thing with Simply Safe, your, your monthly bill is so much cheaper because you own the equipment. So you're basically leasing, well not leasing, but financing the equipment through a company like ADT, Vivint, things like that. So you add on another camera, you add on a couple more sensors, it's gonna bump up your bill a couple bucks, which sounds awesome, but when you're locked to a three year contract, it gets very, very pricey. And so when I spent $400 up front, instead of zero dollars, it will, my monthly payments, their monthly payments will catch up to what I paid a lot quicker than I'll surpass whatever they're gonna spend in the next three years. So uh, let me show you the base real quick. Um, it, it was super simple. I'll, I'm not gonna show you the base base, but I'll show you the center control. And you can add on, I mean, it was actually pretty amazing. Like the packaging was awesome. Basically you wave your hand in front of that and look how sleek, man. It's really, actually a really cool design. The new one is pretty, pretty good looking. And as you notice, they're just, there's tiny little sensors on, on doors and windows and things. And it's nice, man, I like it. Uh, like I said, there's only a few little things. Ring came out, Ring doorbells, you guys know, huge, like the most successful startup company that ever went on Shark Tank. They, I think they got out for a few billion bucks or something, but they're really coming out with some cool, cool technology. Uh, I can talk for days about Ring and the reason I do not use Ring anymore. 
Um, I think they're a great company. They remind me a lot of an Apple type of company. I think they're on to good things. I think they're going to continue to do great in business. I actually love their product. I love their marketing and um, their prices are very fair. Only thing I don't like is I want, with all their cameras and doorbells, I want to see 24 seven. What happened before an event, what happened after, somebody came to the door, whatever. I wanna see everything. Um, because if something actually bad happens, you need that information. The police need that information. Maybe on a ring doorbell, you, you, you can see them walking up and breaking the window or whatever, but you can't see their car. You can't see the car license plates because that motion event stops. And so that is why I, for a simple wireless smart home security camera, I go with Nest all day long. I think Nest is an awesome company as well. Prices are a little steep. They're actually, a, they're actually very expensive cameras and a very expensive su uh, subscription at like 10 bucks a month per camera. Um, so it can get pretty pricey, um, but I, I definitely have sold a lot of my Nest cameras and uh, I have a few and then I went to a, a power over ethernet. Pros and cons to everything, POEs are more expensive up front, but like I said, you own the equipment and there's no subscription. So uh, you're putting a lot more money up front but you're not paying monthly. And also, it's stored on site instead of online on the cloud. So, lots to think about. Um, whatever your needs are, man, it's, that's really the one you should go with. I just wanted to let you guys know about Simply Safe or really Vivint Ring. Ring has an, a home security system with sensors. Uh, Nest has home security with sensors. Look into those before you go with a company like ADT. I've, I've heard bad things about customer service. I've heard terrible things about the monthly rate that it's just, I mean, you're in, you end up spending so much more money than something like this where I spent $400. Even $100 on sensors I don't like, and I still believe it was a good deal. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. And stay safe, man. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.